Hey guys, Jan here in the North View Model Shop. It's Sunday night. It means another Sunday night shakedown. Yes, guys, we are going to review our week here at the North View Model Shop. And just as I start this video, the heat fan starts up again. So let's just leave that one alone. We'll let it go. So, guys, productive week end, actually. The week was actually a little slow. Getting back to work for the... I've taken two weeks off with a little rough... Uh, there was a snow day in there, the kids uh, started back at school again, or I guess they were already at school for a few days anyway, the wife back to school, so it was a little hectic, but uh, coming to the weekend, uh, we actually did quite well, Got, uh, was in the right headspace, it was really fun, uh, grabbed the airbrushes, and uh, started rocking and rolling, and uh, just kind of felt the groove, and uh, started painting quite a bit of stuff, didn't get as much as I wanted to get done, but uh, it was enough, right? Um, so let's dive into that. So, guys, as you remember, we were working on a couple F86s, uh, just messing around with that. So, I uh, had some of the, uh, I guess it's over there, it's the MIG um, One Shot Primer, which is apparently just Steinle Jizz, uh, and shot the bottom of this, just looking at some, uh, just as a guide coat, just a bit of tidy up and clean up. We need to do this, or what we had to do with this, we knew that anyway. So, let's do that. Kind of got uh, a head on run with um, the Bon and Voss uh, 194. So uh, I'm trying to see where we're at. I want to get back to assembly of that, but to do that, I need it to paint, um, to paint the interior side of the engine. Ah, let's just remember, the engine's over there. The engine turned out really, really nice. We'll get pictures of that in the final or in the, the Bon Voss video coming up hopefully this week, um, which is a BMW 801 or 802, I think it was. So I got a really good reference photo for that. So. So you know what, I'm going to put a little bit of effort into the uh, into the cowling for that. So that got done. And then, of course, we did the inside of the cone for that. Landing gear and tires have all been primed. And uh, the landing, or the wheelbase here were primed as well. So did a lot of, uh, it was actually fun. Like I guys said, it was a lot of fun. I finally kind of got things working the way I wanted it to. The computer is here. I'm finally using it for what it's supposed to be for instead of other stuff. Um, you know, got on the computer, looked up you know, did some research, you know, um, uh, Luftwaffe uh, aircraft, color codes, actually had fun learning and doing the research to find out what colors I needed, sifting through all my paints, grab, grabbing the, um, the equivalency charts, finding the paint, making it happen. A lot of fun, and I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, going into that as well, um, so I've, I've got it. I had to look at what I was doing, and what one thing about airbrushing that frustrated me really was um, getting the airbrush out, painting three little parts or four little parts, taking two minutes, and then an hour to clean everything out and prep it and get ready and do it again. So I am kind of found myself like looking at all the projects that are out here, lining them up, and trying to do a batch of paint. So that's what we did. So the model car world 41 willis build uh which is kicking around here uh somewhere most of it's over in there and we started that one before and i don't think we ever did any more videos than just an intro but uh, it's come a long ways that the frame's done the interior is almost done you see here we've painted all the parts that we wanted to chrome so they're finally all chromed with uh, the viejo acrylic uh chrome um so we should be able to get back to playing with this again that's pretty well done there and the engine is in primer and I don't know why I didn't go any further with the engine than what I did but I just see here now when I was painting it uh, I jammed this piece into the the tail cone of the transmission and split the blue seam wide open which is not the end of the world because as most of us know the uh, firewall sitting here you don't see this anyway and I want to put this car sitting on mirror so the tail stock uh, won't really be seen where it was opened up anywho so, we got that, and that's what we got for, in, or that's what we did in the painting. Now, airbrushing, it was kind of fun. I'm sitting there, and a uh, young fella up the road, uh, Ethan, he gave up on his airbrush. He was so frustrated with it. It just, it never worked for him. He had it tore apart. He sent it away. It still never really worked. So, he just kind of was mad, kind of was frustrated. He wanted, I let him use mine. There's not a big deal, but he kind of wanted, he had his own. He got it for Christmas last year. He's used it once, you know, I can understand. I want my stuff to work. So uh, he left it down here and he was kind of getting a little frustrated. 
Um, so last night when the young, our young, my young feller, um, uh, Dylan was down air rushing with my uh, Patriot 105, which, um, you know, I kind of stopped using it because I had the, um, I had the Hard Steamback uh, Evolution, which was a nice airbrush, won't say nicer, but it was a nice airbrush. And um, I'm like, I wonder why, I wonder if this thing still works. So uh, I used it, it worked steam, I thought it worked pretty good. And uh, I just did some um, some primering stuff, right? I thought it worked really nice. So I said, okay, cool. So I had to clean this one out. So I said, which is why I'm at it. Um, I'll, I'll clean Ethan's out. So I guess this was actually last week. Uh, we started this process last week. I uh, got some got some heavy thinners out. Um, uh, or, uh, yeah, it's heavy thinner out. Hot thinner, I guess you call it. Pulled all the seals out of the airbrush, threw this thing in the pot, and let it sit for four or five days. Um, and then last night, uh, I had all three airbrushes all tore down and in cleaning. Got them all cleaned up. And I got a nice little addition to the shop we'll do a video on, uh, which really made cleaning airbrush amazingly quick. Blew all the crap out of his airbrush and uh, used it. Worked great. So uh, super, super cool. Ethan was really excited to get that back on. So got some videos coming up about, uh, about his airbrush uh, kit that he got a year ago for Christmas. And I have it all right here now, so we'll play with that. So I got this one up and working, uh, the Evolution I got working, well that always work, but uh, used all airbrushes, all the airbrush I had in the shop used this weekend and uh, for various different projects and, and the whatnot. So all around had a great fun weekend. Uh, shop maintenance, um, we did a lot of shop maintenance as well here uh, yesterday and today. Um, I think uh, I think I want to do a video on that. I, I think I'll make kind of a traditional uh, once a year do a shop tour. So you know, the, one of the first videos in January, uh, you can kind of sit back, look at all how the shop changed from year to year to year to year. So um, we'll get into that. But uh, a bunch of little mix snacks that I've been trying to get to for quite a while. Um, I think we've uh, kind of got down, and uh, the shop seems to be working pretty well. A little bit more tidy up. I got to do on a few shelves, but I think all in all. Um, things are looking up and being very bright here. So, uh, you know, with that, guys, uh, that was pretty well it. So, hopefully get a little more production going this week. Guys, a Q&A video. I haven't done it yet. Uh, still collecting a little bit of data or questions for that. A little, little bit of how I'm going to run that video together, and then I'm going to try to hammer that off this week and get it out to you guys sometime this week or weekend. Um... Yeah, and I got a bunch of ideas and a bunch of uh, production stuff. I kind of figured I could, uh, I tried doing a few videos last night, and, uh, you know, they were rushed. And I don't want to just rush content out to you guys and be kind of, I want to put a little effort into it, or I want to put a lot of effort into it and jump the quality of the videos up and uh, kind of get that retention going. So we will, uh, we will practice and be a little more sticky and a little more, um, a little more, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? A little more picky on how what we put out and how we're going to do that so patience with that one but uh it is what it is but anyway got some great ideas for videos i want to try to get through and um some builds get some builds on track and get some uh some content for builds out there for you guys as well all right guys hop over to our facebook page and check that out the northview model shop post have fun enjoy chat and get over to instagram to check out exclusive photos going on here in the Northview Model Shop. So I think that's how I'm going to start rolling with Instagram. I used to do um, Instagram photos and then share them to Facebook and stuff. But I think I'm going to step back from doing that. Instagram photos will be Instagram only photos. Uh, so get over, join the Instagram account and check us out there where you'll get exclusive photos of, you know, those Saturday night, late night builds or whatever, right? Or a quick little video teasers and stuff like that. So. Anyway, guys, check that out as well. All right, guys, have fun, and we'll see you next week. Adios.